So hello and good morning. Now this is something that I've been uh, telling uh, a lot of my uh, school and online students that I would do for uh, uh, a couple of days. And so here it is. Uh, thanks to our new friend, COVID, uh, I'm having to teach very much hands off at the moment. Uh, which is part of the whole rulings on on you know uh, teaching people in in real life uh, so i'm doing a lot more uh, video lessons and i'm doing um uh, this, the lessons that I'm, I'm doing face to face it's very much hands off uh, and normally what i would start off every lesson doing is apart from having a little chat about the weather is tuning everyone's guitars and i very much can't do that at the moment so what i've so I would do a very simple little solution um, and it's something that you need to do is I said I would do this video which is just basically how to tune a slightly out of tune guitar it's and and tune, but learning I mean it's sort of struck hit home to me that it's actually it's, I'm not helping by tuning your guitar every week um I mean you know it's very well intended but um really you should know how to tune your own guitar anyway. It's like putting petrol in the car, you know, learning how to tie your shoelaces. It's, it's, it's one of those, you know, little things that is everyday life and you should just be able to do it really. So here we go. So when we're not taking the guitar from, you know, uh, from new, when they when you open the box up and it's new, they are, the strings are just on. They're not even remotely anywhere near this the same universe of tuning as they would be but all of my students um you're all using guitars that are there's the door uh, there you're all using instruments that are kind of in tune but kind of not so here we go so uh what we've got here is my guitar and i've sort of done a a, a simulation of of what's going to happen uh, over the week, so you, you know, you put your guitar in its case, you get it out of its case, you practice a bit, you put it in its case, you take it home, put it in the car, put it in the boot, take it to school, throw it in the corner, get it out, put it back in the car, but, and all of that kind of stuff. And by the end of the week, it sounds like this. So it, it, it sounds pretty hideous. Like that. And an out of tune guitar is not a nice thing to really listen to. Um, you can still practice on it, you can still play all the chords, but just, oh my word. So, uh, what do we need to do? So yeah, the first thing you need to do is get yourself a tuning app. Now, I'm not endorsing this. Uh, this is Pitch Labs. This is the one I've used for a really long time. You can see that it's it's doing its job just by me talking. Um, I'm, I'm not endorsing Pitch Labs. I don't work for Pitch Labs. Stop saying Pitch Labs. Um, but I, I just find it works works really, really well. Um, but there are literally hundreds of tuning apps available. And you'd have to look to find one that costs any money. Um, so they're all generally free. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I want to do, actually, so so we get get yourself first thing, get yourself a tuning app. So that's job one. Okay, go and do that. Okay, so we've got our tuning app. Um, there it is. Um, now the other thing is just have a little bit of a crash course, a little bit of a reminder of which string is which. When I teach guitar, that first lesson of teaching guitar, I I give each string a number, um, just to make things nice and and easy. Okay, so we number each string as one two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, the tuner won't care about that. The tuner wants to know what the notes are. Um, so we're just gonna have a little bit of a little crash course again in what the notes are on strings. All right, so we've got string one is E, string two is B, string three is G, four is D, a is uh, listen to me five is a and six is e so e b g d a e okay and there's a couple of different, different different rhymes you can do to remember that my 
One of my favourites is uh, Easter Bunny Gets Drunk at Easter. I quite like that one. If you want to do it down, if you want to do it the other way, is Eddie A Dynamite Goodbye Eddie. I quite like that one as well. So there's a couple of little ways. Uh, so I'm going to flip the tuner round so you can see what's about to happen. So all tuners are the same in that they have a needle that points in the direction of the strings tuning. Okay. And they will tell you the note that you're playing. It's an E. When the needle is in the middle, it's in tune. When it's below the middle, it needs, it's flat, it needs tightening, the string needs tightening. When it's above the middle, the string is sharp, it needs loosening. Now, the sharp and the flattening business. So let's just take a quick look at this other end. Uh, so here we go, you can see where your strings go to your tuning pegs. We're not ever gonna be like, giving them a big gigantic, but we're just always gonna be just moving it a little bit. Because don't, don't forget, your guitar is generally speaking only a little bit out of tune. So we're not gonna turn this like a whole turn round, you know, four or five turns round, because the only thing that will happen is this will break. Your string, if you over tune your string, it will break, okay? Um, so we, we're only ever just going to be giving them little little nudges in the right direction. And I'll try and get myself sat so you can see how much I'm tuning it in relation to how much the needle is moving. So I think, reflections aside, I think I'm in a situation now where you can see the string I'm plucking. You can see how much I'm turning. You can see the needle and which way around it's going. So I think we're on to a winner here. So let's start with the first string, the E, the first E string. Okay. Now it's saying it's E. The four is which E it is. If you think on a piano, there's loads of keys and there's actually the loads of the same note over and over again. So the four tells you which E it is. You know, if it's, if it's like E1, it's a really low E. If it's E5, it's a really high E. Um, so we don't need to worry too much about those numbers at the moment, um, but it is E4 if, you, if you're if you that bothered. So, the needle is below, it's going to move as I'm talking, I can't do anything about that. The needle is below the centre, which means the string is flat and needs tightening up. So we're just going to give it a few millimetres turn and you should see the string, I'm going to keep plucking it like that. We're going to keep turning this and you should see the needle move to the centre. Ta-da. Now rewind and see how much I didn't turn that. All right, I'm, I'm, I, I don't even think I did a quarter turn to do that. So let's do B. Let's do the second string, the B string. Ah, it says A. Now think of the alphabet, okay? In the musical alphabet and in the real world alphabet, A is obviously before B, which means that this string is so low in pitch, it's gone down into the next note. So you, you, you're gonna need to give it that little bit of an extra, not much, but that little bit of an extra you'll see it go past A and into B. So here we go. A sharp. And there's B. So we turned it into B. And again, it's a bit, still a bit flat. There it is. All right. Third string, the G string. Ah, now G sharp. The sharps are higher. So G sharp is higher than G. So if you get a note that is whatever sharp, that's a note higher, okay? 
So the sharp, the G sharp needs lowering to get down to G. So we're going to lower this. And you'll see it go through, down, through G sharp into G. There you go. Let's move into D. Again, D sharp. Sharp is higher than we want. We want D. So D sharp, we've got to lower it to get to D. And there we go. Let's do the fifth string, the A string. Again, look, G sharp. Now, G sharp is obviously higher than G, but we're not aiming for G, we're aiming for A. So think of your musical alphabet. So this is where things can get a little bit confusing with your musical alphabet because we're on G, we want to go to A, well, what happens then? Are we going to have to go all the way through G, all the way through to Z before we get to A again? No, we're not. The musical alphabet goes from A to G and round again. So G sharp, the next note after G sharp will be A. So if I tighten this G sharp, you'll notice it goes through G sharp and into A at the other side. So watch this. Through G sharp and into A. And again, not much, barely any turning. Okay, D, this, we're on the E string now, the bottom E string, the sixth string. It says it's D, so musically wise, so alphabet wise, D is obviously below E. So you'll need to raise it, it needs turning, tightening, to go through D up to E. You'll see it go from D through D sharp into E. E. So that's that's quite a big two notes that it's got to go through there, but you'll still see I only turn it a tiny amount. So that was probably less than a quarter of a turn and it's gone from D to D sharp. If I do that again, there's E. And there we have it. It's in tune. Now all of that might seem like the most complicated thing that you've ever, ever considered doing to your guitar. Um, so usually my rule is, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. That's my first rule. You know, when people are saying, oh, I need to change this pickup on my guitar, I need to do this, blah, blah, blah. My first rule is, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Um, you don't want to, you won't damage your guitar, um, you know, uh, but... You might break it if you if you over tighten your if you over tighten your strings you, you very good chance that you'll break a string and the worst thing that's going to happen in that situation is you need to change your strings which is for a whole new video um but just go steady take your time all right once you've done it a dozen times um you'll be just a surgeon at it you know tuning your guitar is one of those things that you you should just be able to do and, and over time you will be able to do it okay so just take your time go steady that first time it might take you like an hour to backwards and forwards in but still just small turns small corrections okay and as always if you need me you know where i am i'm like nanny mcphee you know once you need me you know where i am or something like that anyway so there you go uh thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all when we see you all <laughs>